Okay, so this PowerPoint is about the racial disparity in media and the importance of media literacy. So, um, what is media? I don't want to be basic, but to fully understand the gravity of racial disparity in media, you have to start with the clear definition of the word. So media is a means of communication as radio and television, newspapers, magazines, and the internet that reach and influence people widely. The last three words are the most important. The media's influence over the populace is simultaneously the motivation behind racial disparity in media and the reason why this disparity is so detrimental to viewers. Um, this influence can be described as media messages. Media messages are it's a part of the media consumption in the part of our modern everyday life and we are constantly decoding messages planted by our media diets. The messages have a lasting impact strong enough to shape and reshape culture. Um, <clears throat> practicing media like literal literacy is the only way to reduce the influence of media messaging and this is a three minute video. On there is no doubt literacy. that people Children especially learn from all the media that they see, hear, and experience. And we are surrounded by media. TV, apps, websites, video games, magazines, news sites, signs, digital billboards, packaging, radio, social media, and all kinds of advertising. The average kindergartner sees about 70 media messages every day. By the time they're in high school, teens are spending more than one third of their day using media. Few of us fully understand how the media we interact with affects us and our society. So how do we sort through the noise? The key is media literacy. Media literacy is a set of skills that helps people, not just you, analyze the content of media messages that they receive and that they send. To apply media literacy skills, we can ask five key questions. Who created this message? Diets are hard, but senses as easy as shake, eat, and lose weight. What creative techniques are used to attract my attention? Consumers were casually urged to shake their sense up and lose 30, 40, 90 pounds or more without dieting or exercise. Each of these cases resulted in a settlement with the FTC. The companies were ordered to pay consumer redress and to back any future weight loss claims with well-conducted human clinical studies. Some of them have lost no weight and they've had these medical improvements and they've had these life improvements, these life freedom improvements without losing weight. And why is this message being sent? This powerful key unlocks a world that empowers all of us to be better digital citizens as we consume media, produce, and share our own stories. What would it feel like to live in this world? Perhaps we'd have less fear, more empathy, and make better decisions. So how do we create this world? We each have a role to play. First things first, every child needs media literacy skills. We can all advocate for media literacy education with teachers, administrators, parents, librarians, and government. If each of us makes a practice of using the five key questions for media literacy in all our activities and with all of the people we encounter, we'll all move closer to the more positive and well-informed civic engagement that we want and deserve. Um, so we next I'm going to discuss um, racial disparity in three major forms of media. So racial disparity in social media. The first GIF uh, illustrates Jalea Harman, um, creator of the original renegade dance. The dance did numbers on TikTok and suddenly it was everywhere. Um, I even saw some kids doing it in the mall once. Um, 
after the dance made the leap from TikTok to the mainstream, it was at large sporting events, and Jalea's creator status had been whitewashed by TikTok's racially biased algorithms and popular TikTokers who didn't feel the need to credit Jalea. Um, so this is a phenomenon that has been proven time and time again. Um, dark skin and black uh, TikTokers usually have their content buried and it is pretty much stolen by TikTokers who do, who have more viewer, more views than they do and who do not look the way they do. Um, so there's that. In television and cinema, um, the international news outlet Deutsche Well, DW, did an in-depth analysis, uh, an in-depth chronicle analysis of several racist stereotypes depicted in Hollywood, including the sassy black woman, the scary black man, and Latin lover. Pace University student Paulette Strauss um, submitted a thesis investigating the scripted behavior of Latina and Asian women on The Bachelor. Strauss found that Latina contestants were made to display a hot temper, um, self-deprecating humor for comic relief, and an over-sexualized persona. Strauss also found that a Cambodian contestant was fed lines hinting toward yellow fever. Um, an Indian American woman was rarely given screen time and when she, when she was uh, made to allude about her own spiciness. And a Chinese American participant was presented as the model minority for her business acumen at a young age. Um, Native Americans make up less than 2% of the country's population and they are often subject to relative invisibility. Indigenous peoples are not given storylines without the 18th and 19th centuries as the backdrop. Um, the same four tribes, uh, Sui, Navajo, Cherokee, and Apache are the only ones that really get represented and it's not done well. Um, the images don't promote high self-esteem in Native American communities and it is extremely damaging to Native, Ameri Native folks and Native youth. Um, so racial disparity in news media. So these two tweets, the Trump didn't post, he didn't tweet the two photos. These are just depictions of what the tweets were representing. Um, so these were literally within the same month. So it's, it's, um, it's kind of wild. But so the governor, he tweets, the governor of Michigan should give a little and put out the fire. These are very good people. They are angry. They want their lives back safely see them, talk to them, make a deal. So this was after white nationalists had storm, stormed the Mich Michigan Capitol with um, semi-automatic weapons um, because they weren't allowed to get haircuts and get their nails done, which um, is some rough and tough stuff. So literally 28 days later, um, Trump tweets this. These thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd and I won't let it happen. Just spoke to Governor Tim Walz and told him the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty we assume, we will assume control, but when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Thank you. So these, so in this tweet, he is referring to the defund the police slash Black Lives Matter protests. Um, yeah, he uh, he quoted a racist police chief from the 60s when the looting starts, the shooting starts. So um, he's clearly doing big things. Uh, so he, this video is about the disparity in coverage uh, with white riots versus black protests. This was done <clears throat> in 2015. Um, points were made and they're still, they're still relevant today. Funny how the media covers white riots versus black protests. It seems like when the protesters are black, the media uses some pretty harsh words. The bad guys. Lawlessness, looting. Wild animals. Criminals and thugs. Thugs. Isn't it the right word? However, if you're white and you're tearing up the city because of a game, you're just young people. Young people danced on it, flipped over cars. As UK fans did stupid things. Some baby 
got a little out of control. Seeing a scene like this just shows how passionate the UK fans are. It's so tough to lose, and unfortunately the ugly side that we sometimes see in sports. And notice how the police always show up to a black protest in military-grade equipment, and yet the media claims they're just doing nothing. It's inexplicable why the police are doing nothing. Let's mobilize the National Guard. If I'm a rioter and I see the police doing nothing, I might feel like I have a license. You would. But at white riots, the cops actually are standing around doing nothing. Another group of cops over there just standing there. No one was really doing anything. These guys look like they could be watching a parade. And why is it that the leadership of the black community is always called into question? Where is the leadership? Leadership. The black leadership. The absence of leadership. Uh, and it goes back to leadership, but that leadership has to come from the community. But no one ever questions the leadership of white parents who let their kids burn down and vandalize the college campus. They're just uh, young college students who think they're playing some kind of a game with police officers. You know, sometimes they don't even call a white riot a riot. Party gone awry. Some fans got a bit too rowdy after the win. Spew a bloody brawl. There was some type of altercation. Waco, 170 arrested, nine people dead. They're not thugs. Baltimore, no deaths, but it's a riot, chock full of thugs. Thugs, just thugs. What if the media portrayed white rioters the same as black protesters? Let's switch the audio and see how it plays out. Breaking news, violent protests. What you're looking at is the unraveling of the civil society. Criminals and thugs. And they're raising hell, and they're destroying property. These idiotic thugs, rioting and looting, are hurting their own people. Wild animals burning buildings down. Especially if they know the media's all there, right? Got the cameras on everyone. It's, it's become its own reality show. Who acts like that towards a police officer? Think for yourself. Don't let racist media color your perceptions. Demand fairness in media coverage. Tell the media to put an end to calling black people thugs. Um, so the protests are the most recent example of racial disparity in news media, but make no mistake, this is not new. Um, almost every time law enforcement murders an unarmed black person, news outlets that cater to white supremacists and nationalists wait on pins and needles for evidence that might justify the slaughter. Um, meanwhile, mass Shooters uh, like Dylan Roof, who subscribe to white supremacy, are apprehended with little force and they get Burger King catered by law enforcement because media messages where whiteness is synonymous with danger or mass violence just barely exists. Um, so racial disparity in the internet. So you probably aren't able to see the words typed in the search, um, the search bar, but uh, and instead of going left to right, we'll be going right to left. So if you, the first uh, photo on your right, um, the search bar says professional hairstyles. And as you can see, it is um, covered with photos of white women in sleek um, updos and ponytails and things like that. And when you Google unprofessional hair, you are met with more diverse faces, more brown faces, um, women who have 3C to 4C kinky curly hair. Um, for men, when you look up haircuts, you get a bunch of white men in fades. And then if you are looking to style a black man, you have to type haircuts for black men to find images related to that. Um, and then finally, um, you can see the, or the bottom, the last image on the right is hair crowns. Uh, and again, it is white women in sleek um, hair, uh, hair crowns and to see black women uh, in the same, wearing the same styles, you have to say black women or hair crowns for black women. Um, I've discussed racial disparity in three major forms of media, as well as the subconscious downloading of media messages that perpetuate racial insensitivity. Understand that even though the society thrives by casting minorities in a role of other, um, great strides have been made. Um, writers, actors, Journalists and revolutionaries of color have made tremendous progress through the decades. Um, with movies or with documentaries like Paris is Burning and The Water, Watermelon Woman and roles like Viola Davis's um, Annalise Keating, 
um, representation is still unequal. Um, continuing to dismantle racial stereotypes without creating new ones is imperative. And you, how to be an agent of progress um, in the face of racial disparity in media. So in today's society, media that doesn't make a profit is irrelevant. If you come across racially disparaging content, don't give it your viewership. Practice media liter literacy and challenge the messages you are receiving. If you have or are seeking a career in media, focus on creating accurate content that illustrates people of color in full, complex, and undiminished lenses. Um, and that is it. How do I stop the screen share? <laughs> Sorry. Um, there's a green share screen, or it's green on my end. Oh, okay. Um, share screen button.